Hi, so today we are located in uh, Latvia, in Turaid, in the historic Turaid medieval castle. And the task we have for today is to scan this castle with the drone to create a 3D model so we can firstly create a digital twin of the castle and second, so we can also uh, have a way more detailed information about all the defects which are here and also about the historic parts of the castle. So today I have already all the flights pre-planned here in GCS. I can make some modifications to them in the field if necessary and uh, we can get started with flying. And so today we'll be using the DJI M300 drone which, with the uh, H20 camera. First, we're going to take off so we can see the maximum height of, uh, of the tower, and which can also then be useful uh, when we'll be planning the mission. So now we're going to send it on a photogrammetry mission. So first it's going to capture images facing exactly 90 degrees downwards. So we have a single grid photogrammetry mission planned in GCS with 80% forward and 80% side overlap. So now let's launch the drone, let's uh, take the images uh, of the whole area with 90 degrees downwards and then we will fly two double grid photogrammetry missions, one with 60 degrees and one with uh, 30 degrees. So here you can see we have the route in EGCS. So we have DJI Pilot 2 connected directly to EGCS and we have this route already here in the remote controller. We can see the drone as it will be flying the mission over there as well. But so now all that's left for us to do is we can select the uh, route which was planned in EGCS, make sure all the settings are okay and launch the drone. Start point. So now that we are done with our single grid photogrammetry mission, next step is the double grid photogrammetry. So this double grid photogrammetry, we will be flying with the camera facing 60 degrees. The altitude also will be a bit lower than the previous one. So, but before we start, it's better to have a fresh set of batteries so we can fly the mission fully without stopping. So now everything is done. I have the mission already here in DJI Pilot 2. So again, mission was planned in GCS and now we should be ready to go. Let's go and capture some data. Now when we are done with the 60 degree photogrammetry double grid, we're going to do another one at 30 degrees. So typically this kind of flight we would do lower than the 60 degree one. So now because of the tower, we can't really fly lower since we want to capture the tower as well. So in this case, we'll fly at 30 degrees at the same altitude like we did the 60 degree double grid and we'll see what results we get. So here I have the mission which I was planning in UGCS and now we should be ready to go. So like I said, now this is going to be a double grid for the gram tree with the camera set at tilt 30 degrees. So now everything should be set and we are ready to roll. Moving to start point. What would be the radius? 20 meters, maybe 15. So now we're just capturing the uh, main tower of the castle. So we have set up in the GCS circle missions, which will make the drone fly around the castle. And so now it's already on the third level from the top uh, of the circle missions. So it's now capturing uh, the level where you can see the windows. So it's capturing uh, that part of the, of the tower. Now, once we have captured the photogrammetry, the tower, as well as the photogrammetry at oblique angles, 30 and 60, now next step is we'll be flying the perimeter around the castle. So in this case, I'll be flying the perimeter slightly lower than the previous missions because now we don't have to worry about the tower. 
and I have set the camera to face 30 degrees towards the castle. And the flight height here will be 35 meters. So I have the uh, flight plan here in UGCS. It's already synced up with DJI Pilot 2 and now we should be ready to go. So now I can just select the flight route over here and then launch the drone. Now we have our perimeter mission already loaded into the drone and now we should be ready to go. So let's just press on start and launch. Moving to start point. And okay, so now let's go take a look at what data we gathered. And this is the final result. To get a good 3D model, it is important that you capture as much details of the object as possible. In our case, this includes three surveys above the site with the camera set at 90, 60 and 30 degrees respectively, perimeter around the area and facade inspections where possible. In this specific case, we used multiple circle missions around the tower and the facade scan, allowing us to capture the details in the inner courtyard. So I hope this video was useful for you. If so, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel to get more content on what can be achieved with drones through UGCS flight planning software. Thank you and see you in the next one.